<sighs> okay, I'm back. Um, yeah, so I just, it kind of helps to go for a walk um, to get my mind straightened and not on everything. Um, probably should have waited to do this video, do an update or whatever. Um, yeah, so that's what's going on right now. So we're waiting to hear if they got the car or not and just go from there. And um, it looks like we're going to have a ride to go up to, um, to the dealership. So um, we just told the lady. Um, well, it's, she's also in the uh, Yoshi's family. It's my sister's mother-in-law. So we told her we'll let her know. And I hate missing church, especially since I had to work the last two Wednesdays. And uh, I don't, I'm grateful for a job, but I don't like missing church like that. You know? And I try to, you know, make sure I schedule even when I go out of town. So, especially if I want to be here for a certain event or a revival or something going on. Not unless I absolutely had to leave, like it was a family emergency or something like that, like I had to do last year. Yeah. Hopefully things will get worked out and um, with the car and won't cost that much. Yeah, y'all pray for that because, you know, although we're doing a little bit financially better, but not we're... We could be doing better. Um, so, so hopefully we can do better. You know, we're hoping you know finances get a little bit better by the end of the year to be able to get another car. I really don't want to have to get another car right now, but we'll see. You know, it's one thing I've learned over the years is, you know, God is always has our back, you know, just go to him first, no matter what's going on, you know, he does provide for you, and, you know, I don't know who needs that, uh, to hear that, but I mean, he does, he's never failed us, I was like, no matter what we're going through, through multiple cancer scares for my mom. She's one that worries all the time. Oh, I'm going to die. I, say, I just know it's going to be bad. I like, no, mom. Just stop it right there. I was like, we prayed about it. God's going to take care of it. We got, I got peace about it. Nope. And, um, you know, sure enough, it's like, you know, she was good every time. You know, she was able to have the surgeries done. They remove them cysts, the mass, you know, all that stuff, um, you know, even when she had to take treatments, everything went well there, she made it through, she's still here, and, you know, you just have to learn to trust God and say, you know, no matter how much you want to worry, that, um, sorry, I do pick up change, don't change. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so, so, uh, God's always taking care of us. And you know, like I said, it's like, thank God that we got a bigger car. That way the impact, uh, the impact was not as severe as it could have been if I still had my smaller car. You know, that's one of the reasons why I wanted a bigger car. And, um, I've had friends from my church do the same thing. They oh, because uh, they've gotten in accidents, and um, some of them w uh, was their fault. Some of it wasn't. Um, but they got bigger vehicles because it's like they want to know their home is safer. So it really has helped. And I do pray for hedge protection and travel mercies each and day, each and every day over my family, myself, my friends. Uh, even if it's just an acquaintance, I pray for them too. That you, know, it's not going to you that we're not going to have something like that happens. But when something does like that happens, it's not taking our life. You know, 
or <laughs> suffer from bad injuries, you know, or anything like that. And um, God's helped us with our finances, even when we were both out of work. Now we're both, we're trying to get this. Uh, I said it in other videos. It's trying to get disabilities. You know, that time back in 2020, I was out of work for about a year, almost a year and a half. And um, we somehow got our bills paid and and needs met food, you know, so, it's just, I'm, I'm one of those people, it's not that I don't worry, but I choose to be like, no, I'm not going to worry about that, I'm putting it in God's hands, I'm going to pray about it, and fast about it, I'm going to leave it there, I know it's not easy for everybody to do, but it's something I do, it. I think it's easier now, because I've seen him come through for us no matter what. You know, and it allows us enough to do that. We've never had to deal with being homeless. Other cleaning times that could have happened, especially with my mom being a single mom. You know, she worked, did what she had to do, and when I graduated, I started working and helping her out. And so did my brother until he couldn't work anymore. So, yeah, um, yeah, that was that, but I did have a concern and worry, and I had to go to the back and just pray, and, um, take a deep breath and just let people know what was going on, so they can pray too, and, you know, hey, if we're not there, they know why, you know? You know, I did that. Did that try to let people know. Just, I, it's more like a safety reason for me. I just, you know, the way I look at it. You never know with people these days. Like, there's crazy people out there. So I'm not going over there. Um, I watch a lot of uh, True Con, I think. So, oh, we got a new neighbor behind us. Okay, they just put their blinkers on. So, anyways, um, what was I say? I was gonna have ADHD or something because I lose my train of thought like so quickly. Um, Supposedly, from what our daughter said, um, not that, but the other thing. The autistic. I said, if I'm autistic, then I must be high functioning or something. Um. So yeah. Was, uh, what? I had a few minutes of concern, and it was just with the car. How are we going to pay for it? My mom's all right. If she's going to get ticket and. How are we going to cover financially with this and with car and um, let's just help my cousin out tomorrow with her social security papers and paperwork. And, uh, I'm supposed to have a doctor's appointment Wednesday. And, uh, it's a very important one. And, um, yeah, it's just. I have to do that. So I was like, how am I going to get to my doctor's appointment? Uh, I had this like three months in advance and it's one of the, the I call it a yearly, but um, the female stuff. And it's important I keep that because I have different issues that keep popping up. Um, Yeah, so it's just, you know, important that I keep it. So I think I that worked out where I could get a... Because that's something I prayed about is to see... Uh, I was praying that my insurance will cover, like, a rental. 
I remember adding that onto it, but I didn't know if they still kept it on there or not because, you know, things change. You know. So I'm glad they ha uh, have that where they pay for rental. So I wish I could make it to my doctor's appointment. And I was supposed to go, I have to go over to South Side. So that's over 30 minutes just in driving. And while I was over there, I was going to go to Ikea. So there won't be no walk with me videos. Um, so I don't know if I want to continue doing those or not. what's going on because there's two cops going by so I want to figure it out one way or another so. full moon last night there seems to be a whole bunch of weird people out today and um there was some random SUV blocking the street across from where I was at I was trying to watch them and make sure that it just pulled off but there was just two kids walking by so I'm like oh they better not be watching them I I watch things and people when I'm walking there's too many weirdos out there. I was trying to make sure that he, uh, he or she wasn't about to do anything or watching them. You never know. But I just see like other weird stuff was going on today too. And the lady I sit with, she wasn't acting quite herself today either. So. Uh, today uh, started off pretty good though. So, I guess that's it. I want to let you guys go. Um, I'm going to finish my walk before it gets dark. See you guys later. Bye.